Hello, and welcome to How to Use Multi-Level Lists in Microsoft Office Word 2007, a Microsoft Office tutorial presented by Logon to Learn, powered by KnowledgeWave. In this session, we will cover how to insert, modify, and create custom multi-level lists for numbered headings in longer documents. Multi-level lists are new in Word 2007. You'll find them up in the Paragraph group on the Home tab on the ribbon. And they have the drop-down arrow next to each button, just like the other two lists do. And you have to click on it because there's no way to choose a multi-level list without specifically picking a particular type. So what you'll see here is that your list library is set on none to begin with. And then you can move your mouse over each one of these different types of multi-level lists. The icons that you see inside the gallery are really only a very small, scaled-down picture of what the list is going to look like. So if you want to get a better idea of what the list is actually going to look like in your document, what you want to do is hover over it with your mouse, and it's going to grow a little bit larger, and it's going to show you in greater detail what this type of multi-level list is going to appear as in your document. So that you can decide which type of multi-level list you need to use within your document. Now the classic multi-level list is the traditional outline, and that would be this one down here on the bottom left. So this is your standard outline where you've got your Roman numerals followed by your capital letters of the alphabet, followed by Arabic numerals, followed by lowercase, and so forth. Just like a regular outline, as we all learned in school. You also have multi-level lists which are bullets, which is slightly unusual. One of the characteristics of a multi-level list is that it can have both numbers and bullets as a part of it. So let's choose a typical one, such as, as this one here, for like say that we were going to create a technical manual, a set of instructions, or what have you. We'll choose this one here. And right away we have heading one that we're using. So this would be our, our main topic. And then after that, if we want to immediately set the next topic as uh, another as the next level down, so now that I've chosen my main topic, and that's also corresponds to heading one, I'm going to want a heading two to follow. There's my heading one, and here's going to be my heading two. And you see how that takes on the numbering of 1.1. Now I may follow this with a paragraph or two of information. And then perhaps there'll be a sub-subtopic after that. And so I'll use my style gallery up here again now that I've got the multi-level list in place and I'll go for heading three. After that, maybe a paragraph or two again. And then there might be another heading three after this. And you see how the numbering system works for that. Then maybe yet another heading three and you see how this all works. After this, I might jump back up a level to another higher heading. I'll put a heading two in here. And so forth and so on. And then this would create a very well-structured table of contents as well when I'm ready to add that into the document. So this is a, an easy one to use when you're working on a larger manual or set of instructions, procedures, Anything that has to be highly structured in terms of greater and lesser topics that are related to each other. Another type of multi-level list that we might work with is this one here, where we've got Article 1. This would have an article title of some type. And then after that, I might put in a Heading 2, which becomes a section. And maybe there'd be a section title. And then we've got various specific articles as each of the heading threes. Now I still might need to put a paragraph in here. And now I'll add my heading three. And so forth. And then you see how that works. So multi level lists do not behave like bulleted list or numbered list in the sense that a multi-level list you have to go ahead and choose what heading level that you're using out of the styles gallery and you have to do this manually it's not going to automatically number 
And the reason for this is so that you can maintain perfect control over what's happening with your list. These types of multi-level lists are meant to equate into headings one, two, three, and so forth. And these are meant to equate to table of contents, which will appear automatically when you generate a table of contents, which we cover in another screencast. So let's look at another one. This one here is really more for sort of like a chapter in a book, let's say. And then after this one, if I wanted a heading two, we can see how that just becomes almost like a, just a regular heading. It's not qualified as a chapter. That's a heading two. And now let's do a heading three. When it comes time to start a new chapter, just put it back on heading one. And it, that, it automatically does count, you see. This is now chapter two. So the counting that takes place in these multi-level lists is a lot different than the counting which occurs in automatically numbered lists and the bulleted lists. In this case here, I have to manually set this as a particular heading level, but then as soon as I do, the count takes place. And this is listed as chapter two as opposed to chapter one. Now, if you want to define your own multi-level list, you certainly may do that. You can open up the multi-level list button and you can define a new multi-level list. And in this dialog box, and how you work it here is you choose a level to modify and what level that equates to out to and you set the style for it as well. So for example, what if I wanted something almost exactly like this, except for instead of having my numbering style be Arabic numerals, I wanted it to be Roman numerals. You do it like that. And then on top of all of that, maybe I'll just modify the fonts a little bit. There we go. And so that's the one that I'm using now. And so under list and current document, there's my list. So now every time I want a level one heading, I'm using Roman numerals. Just like that. And that's how you work with multi-level lists in Word 2007. We hope this session has been informative. Thanks for choosing Log On to Learn, powered by KnowledgeWave, educating the world anytime, anywhere.